us that if I go to this thing, it's going to get raunchy later, afterwards. I'm talking third base, no bra, full honk. A high and <laughs> third base, that's no bra, full honk. Right? Uh, hi and welcome back to Say There, Buddy. Suppose you did the thing you'd rather do. What would that thing be? Saturday. It is a Saturday. Uh, Jay Peso is here. And I'm Trouble T. Damn, I had one. I forgot it. So we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I got to start remembering those. Uh, let's get right into some questions. Would you... Give me my pen. I need that to feel in charge. Would you rather go out with someone gorgeous who flirts just enough that people assume that he or she must be cheating on you or go out with someone only half as good looking who rarely flirts or arouses suspicion so this just says you're going out with someone gorgeous and people assume that they're cheating on you but they're not uh, and they're just flirting with everyone, but that's still really annoying. And, and here's the thing, though. I'm going to take the half as good looking who rarely flirts because this is my thing. As soon as you start doing that jealousy shit, this happens even in, like, preliminary dating or, like, the we just start, and then I feel like you're trying to make me jealous. I'll just go, nah, just go with that person. Like, because if you're doing that, then you're not really into me anyway. Like, I don't play those fucking games. I don't do all that type of stuff, man. Uh, that's why I'm not even a big chaser. I'm like, I'm going to ask you out, or I might even not ask you. I'll just put the fillers out, and if I'm not getting, like, some something reciprocated, like, something back, then I'll just be like, okay. Nah, because it, it's there's too much out there, man. There, there's too many women out there. I've always said, like, and it's weird that guys get fixated on one person. I know this is going off the rail early, but this is something I always think about that. It's weird to get fixated on one person when it's such an oversaturated market. I mean, why won't you just go find someone that's into you? Why does it have to be that person? That's always been weird to me. And for someone to, like, try to play you off somebody and make you jealous, nah, man, I don't need that in my life. I don't need that type of relationship or friendship or anything. Uh, you, you having trouble? Here, I'm going to make it easy for you. Go be with that person. And I will take the half as good-looking person who rarely flirts or arouses suspicion. Peace of mind. That's the thing how you want to date. You see those like, someone's dating a super hot chick, you're like, oh, that's a lucky guy. Is he? Why is he lucky? Because she's hot? You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Be crazy as hell. Life just be miserable. And you think he's lucky <laughs> because he's dating some hot-ass 10 that's cheating everywhere. Oh, man, so lucky. Uh, so, yeah, give me the uh, half as good looking who rarely flirts or arouses suspicion. Would you rather always <laughs> have to always eat standing up? Or always enter your car from the passenger door. I'll take the passenger door. Uh, always eat standing up. That means restaurants and everything, which is kind of funny. I think that would that would get awkward. I had a friend one time, for whatever reason, he could not sit down in the restaurant. We would get our food. He would get his plate. And I'm talking about walk around the bar area or the restaurant over people. Oh, how y'all doing good tonight? Y'all, y'all like conversating, eating over them. I'm like, man, this is bad situational awareness. Now, I thought that was funny. I didn't like being a part of it. Uh, but always eat standing up seems like that would be problematic at some point. And I don't want to do that. Because then what is that? That's the theaters where you go in those theaters where you can eat. And now you got to stand up. Hey, asshole, sit down. Hey, in the front. <laughs> like, sorry, I, I'm, it's a curse or something. I don't even know how you would explain it away. You end up getting stabbed in the theater with some pastrami on your shirt. <laughs> Do you eat pastrami in a theater? Uh, yeah, I'll just enter the car from the passenger door. I think that's actually kind of cool. That would be funny. I mean, if you're on a date, you're like, hold on, hold on. Like, let me let me go through first. Like She's like, oh, you're so chivalrous. You're opening the door. I'm like, no, nah, bitch, I'm trying to get in. I got to get in through the passenger first, and then you can get in, all right? Uh, <laughs> would you... <laughs> would you rather, yeah, your first date, you're like, hold on, bitch. <laughs> would you rather have, and they'll like it. Oh, they're so into it, right? Why is that a thing, too? Get treated like dirt, all of a sudden you're into it. Uh, I think that's a psychological thing, right? They don't want the, the person being too chivalrous. They say they do, but they don't because, it's like, deep down they feel like dirt and they know what terrible people they are. And so they're like, oh, I need someone that treats me equivalent to where I'm seeing myself. That's um, that's some, <laughs> what do they call that? 
the partial psychology. I forgot what it was even called now. Uh, would you rather have sex with all of the supreme... Oh, would you? That's not a would you rather, though. Would you have sex with all the Supreme Court justices in order to earn the official title of captain? So that means, like, what? You're going to bang, what is that dude? Alito, Edo, and uh, <laughs> Clarence Thomas. Clarence Pube Hair Thomas. Man, the hits just keep coming with that guy, don't they? Uh, in order to be earn the title of captain, no. It's not that important to me. Uh, I don't think I... All of the Supreme Court justices... And what is a bunch of dudes, right? Was there two women? Uh, nah, I wouldn't do that. Would you rather rather have an incredibly adhesive face or have a mildly magnetic scrotum? <laughs> I like that one. So you have a super sticky face or a mildly magnetic scrotum. Wow, that's a pretty interesting one. That's something that you, I guarantee no one's ever thought about before. Like, would you, what would I would rather have a magnetic scrotum, mildly magnetic. So what does that mean? Uh, what are the places that you sit? It says mildly magnetic. I, I'm going to take the mildly magnetic scrotum, I think, because incredibly adhesive face. I just don't like a ton of things touching my face. And this just makes it sound like something falls and it's just going to stick to your face. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I get, well, It would be cool, though, for traveling purposes. You just put all your, like, bathroom, you got your toothbrush and your comb, and it's all just stuck to your face. Uh, and then you don't have to worry about your, your scrotum sticking to... I'm trying to think of where, like, that would be a hindrance. Because doorknobs and metal, like, it says mildly. What does mildly mean? Mildly is a subjective term. Uh, I'm still going to take the mildly magnetic scrotum, I think, just because I want to see what that's like. Uh, would you rather do 10 years of hard time in a tough prison, 10 years in a tough prison and be given 50 million on your release or be dirt poor for the rest of your life, but remain free? Dude, some of these are good today. 10 years hard times, it's going to fuck with you. I mean, you're going to get out, you're going to have the 50 million. Uh, so you're probably not going to have to go back into crime. Maybe you will. I don't know. Uh, or dirt poor. See, that's the thing, man. You're, you're saying dirt poor. I mean, that means, like, can't even get food, can't get... For the rest of your life. So you can't even claw your way out. It's not like we're going to start you dirt poor. Uh, yeah, that would be an interesting thing. Think about that, too. You see all these fucking trust fund... You know, I'm saying trust fund, like Trump's and all that, like they were, you know, daddy was rich or whatever, and so they started off with this, oh, well, you only got a million dollar loan. Yeah, well, that's cool, though, but most people can't even get that. It would be interesting to see if you reset everything to zero, if the same people would crawl back to the top, because I feel like they wouldn't. I feel like if you reset it, you would see some, the real, some real hustlers emerge, because it's kind of rigged now to the point where, oh, it's a little selective. It is land of the free, it is entrepreneurs and all that, but I feel like if you reset it all to zero, we wouldn't see the same people in control. Uh, I'm just saying that to say start dirt poor. Uh, th this is going to keep you dirt poor, but you're not in prison for 10 years. <sighs> but you're dirt poor, man. Really, the question is, would you want you want to be dirt poor the rest of your life or do 10 years in prison and you get $50 million? So what's that, 20 to 30? Damn, this is a tough one. Man... Give me the 10 years. 10 years, and it says a tough prison, but here's the thing. You'll probably be a badass when you come out, and you'll have 50 million. So, And the chicks will be into you. You're like, I, I was in prison, and I'm rich. <laughs> that's like, oh, that's the perfect combination for most of them. Really? You'll kill a person, and you're rich. That's great, because normally it's one or the other. Yeah, 10 years of hard time. Uh, and give me the 50 million when I get out. Because I don't want to stay dirt poor. I got no problem resetting. Because I feel like I can get it back. But I don't want to stay there. Uh, what? Which would you rather have go viral? An Instagram account consisting solely of pictures of you on the toilet. I'm in. I don't even need to hear the other one. <laughs> that one. But let's go ahead and read the other one just to see what it is. Or... A gawker, so Instagram account consisting solely of pictures with you on the toilet, or a gawker article 
with word for word excerpts from the diary you kept when you were 13. I don't care about that, man. You, uh, there was no diary, I don't think, at 13. Uh, word for word excerpts of it. I'll just say anything you wrote when you're 13. It doesn't matter because I'm going to take the Instagram account consisting solely of pictures of me on the toilet, which sounds like an amazing idea, and that's probably going to start tomorrow. Look for Trouble Toilet <laughs> tomorrow on Instagram. It's probably already going to start because this is so big. People hear about that. They're on it. Uh, would you rather get sprayed with a hose on a freezing cold day or sit in a hot tub on a sizzling summer day? Damn, I hate the heat. I really hate the heat. Sprayed with the cold hose. Cause okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get sprayed with the cold hose because it's just sprayed. You go in, you heat up. This says you're sitting uh, in the hot tub on a sizzling summer day. Uh, so I don't want to do that. Uh, would you rather eat a bagel covered in earwax or boogers? Give me fuck. Uh, earwax can get grimy too, though. Uh, it seems like the clear choice, but it's really not. Uh, but it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take the... I'm going to eat the bagel covered in earwax. Let me see that. Uh, okay. Uh, would you rather climb... What does this mean? Would you rather climb to the top of Mount Everest and lose your hat or lose your goggles? Is there... Is this going to thing? What's the thing? Humans lose between 30 and 50% of their body heat through the head. Uh, so I will go ahead, put your goggles, and then you're going to be like, um, Aubrey in, in, uh, Christmas Vacation. <laughs> She'll see it later, Clark. Her eyelids are froze. Uh, <laughs> or her eyes are froze, or whatever it was. You lose your goggles or your hat, and then you got cold head. <sighs> and then there's like blizzards and stuff coming in. I'm going to, you know what? Even though it says 30 or 50 percent, and you're at the top of Mount Everest, fuck it, I'll keep the hat. My instinct is to keep the goggles, because I feel like the shit starts blowing and it's blizzard in your eyes. And it's going to be tough. But the 30 to 50 percent of body heat through your head thing is pretty interesting. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and keep the, the hat. Uh, would you rather go to sleep on a camping trip in a tent and wake up with ants in your nose and ears or with your tent mate's toe in your mouth <laughs> okay uh ants are in your nose and ears i'll tell you what uh because because then they, they can still bite there's more damage there i'm gonna take the toe in the mouth even though that seems disgusting too uh it doesn't say the foot's fucked up it doesn't really have any description of the foot and i'm trying to think of who i would even be tent mating with uh, since that's kind of left in the air too, I'm just going to think of someone with super clean hygiene. Uh, and I'll wake up with the toe in my mouth and I will immediately spit it out. Uh, spit it out. I'll spit your toe out. Bite it. They'll never do it again. You just bite their toe. He'll never do it. Uh, okay. Let's see what we've got. This next segment is brought to you by Bacon Scented Mustache. Dog farting again? Well... If you're having trouble getting through it, why don't you just slap on a bacon scented mustache until little, I was going to say Fluffy, I feel like there's cooler dog names, maybe Butch, is done with this episode, and then you and your guests can all take it off once the dog is done farting. Bacon scented mustache. Now for dog farts. And the next, and this is brought to you by, oh, well, I just said brought to you, this next segment is brought to you, 2,000, fuck it, this out of the book, motherfucker, 2,000 would you rather questions, play with yourself at home while you wait for the dog to get done farting. Would you rather go back five years or skip ahead five years in your life? Fuck, dude, I will go back because unlike most people that say, that, and this is a thing when I say about regrets, I'm not saying like I sit and think about this shit all day, oh I wish I would have went, no, no, no I don't do that man, because I do believe when you make your choices, you what's supposed to happen happens, you go and you do your thing or whatever, I don't ever sit in like, sit in it like that, but I, there's definitely five years of the past worth of different little mistakes or just little tiny things that yeah if I'd go back I would make corrections here, I would do things differently, I might fuck with different people, I might, you know, not do that. So yeah, if you get five years to go back and you're saying you wouldn't go back and like try to make some minor corrections or even major corrections, then I think you're a fucking moron. I really do. I think if you have no regrets, I have no problem saying that you're a fucking moron. 
So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go harsh with that one because I fucking hate it. It's cope. It's all cope. I wouldn't change anything. And I wouldn't be who I am. Yeah, you're not that great. You could be better. So go back, change the things, and I think you're gonna like who you are then. Now you don't want to do it now because you can't. So you just embrace it. It's cool, man. Go to therapy and get through it. Uh, would you? <laughs> Oh, harsh, man. I hate it, though, dude. I hate that, like, no introspection. I don't like, this is the thing that kills me. I know. Uh, <laughs> 2,000 Would You Rather has got me hyped. People that don't have any, like, self-awareness or sense of introspection, like, no, dude, you're not at the greatest version of you. Like, I, as even as good as you are, there are things you could do to improve. You gotta stop with that shit, man. <laughs> you gotta stop with that shit. I, I, that's I can't. I don't like really anymore being around people that don't see that. That's like one of my main pet peeves. Uh, Cause even me, I feel that way. I'm even me, even great me. I know there are things, there are ways, or things that I could have chose different that would have led to, I think, a better outcome. And some definitely. Oh, I wouldn't go back and make that person feel better. I would have changed the way I did this. Sometimes it's not even about you. It's about going back and doing something different for somebody in their life. You know what I mean? Because once again, the ego, you're all looking internally. Maybe you go back and change something that you did to someone five years ago or the last five years. Whatever. I'm going back five years, bitch. <laughs> Would you rather hang glide or windsurf? I'm going to... I think I'm going to stay in the water. Uh, that's the thing, though, man. I don't like being that far out. But so the thing is, I don't mind being over, over open water uh, as long as I'm in a plane. And if it crashes, I die instantly. Or I can see land, because I feel like I got a fighting chance. No cruises, no boats far out like that. I, I probably would do some fishing out there. None where we're going to stay an extended amount of time, and then it goes down, and, and you don't know which way. Oh, well, watch for the sun. Well, I can't. There's a shark biting my ankle. My lower leg has been shredded, and you're telling me to navigate with the sun uh, in the middle of the ocean. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and windsurf uh, as long as I can see the land. Okay, the only other thing I got is, someone was asking me about the streaming on the album. I, honestly, I'm, I got the numbers here. I don't think that I will ever stream another one of my albums. Like, it's they're all going to be just for sale. That, that's all I'm doing. There may be some previews. And the reason for that is because yeah if you're a top one of those high artists or that's like your main job you're doing all that or whatever and and, and you're able to market and build up market and build up to that type of level that's great man you're getting some real money streaming but if you're not I would seriously advise trying to build a fan base that's going to buy albums because some of these numbers I mean you're looking at here what's the most popular one you have title they pay out they do give you a, a cent uh, 1.2, oh, oh, 1.2. So you get a cent and then a quarter of a cent uh, per stream. Spotify, you're getting a fucking fourth of a cent per stream. YouTube, you're getting, god dang, those are so many zeros before that six. What is that? A sixth of a six? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Uh, 315 streams to make a dollar on Spotify. Uh, 128 streams to make a dollar on Apple Music. There are people that have been super honest that aren't fronting about it. This is how I knew I didn't want to do full streaming like that because I, I knew people that had millions of streams and they were asking for help paying bills, like a, a phone bill. And I'm like, hold on, I thought you were like millions of streams, you were putting all this shit out there, and it's like, oh, they weren't really, you weren't really getting a lot. I mean, not if you didn't have a side job, if that was your main hustle, it, it was below minimum wage in some cases. Uh, like in this instance, though, this isn't, but I forgot who the, 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 the guy was, but it was his band, and these are for people that are actually earning their streams, and that's the other thing. People are paying for streams. You see people get half, I mean, 500 million streams, and then their album sells 5,000. I'm like, dude, that's closer to what I'm doing. <laughs> like, you faking your streams, man. You are faking your streams. But on legit streams, and I'm sure the record companies are doing that because then it builds, like, interest. It's almost like liking, making fake accounts, liking your own stuff just to get the ball rolling. It's kind of like that with the stream thing. Uh, but, okay, their band had 10.5 million streams. And they made $23,000, which is not bad, but it's not enough for a band 
to survive. That's 10.5 million. I mean, we're calculating that. So you're saying they get up in the 20 million range, 20, 25 million range. They're getting $50,000, dude. Uh, I did the math on that earlier. 23,000 23, divided by 13, which I'm selling for, which I don't get to keep the whole thing. But that's, uh, that's only, you only got to push 1,800 albums to make that. 1,800, dude. You can get 1,800 people to buy your shit versus 11 million streams. I feel like, and it is, it's not the easiest. Most artists, 99% of artists will never sell over 100 records. That's just the stat statistic that I've seen. But I feel like if you can get that, it's the better way to go, dude. I mean, 10, you would think if you're getting 20 million streams that y you would be, you know, you're doing something. Uh, not really. I mean, you could you could go out and work for a few years, five years, or, or whatever it is, build up in your job, even if it was just like a production thing or whatever, and eventually you're going to be getting that. <laughs> like, so I, I guess if you just want to live by those means, you're not. The point kind of is you're not really superstarring it, man. I'm trying to get some money out of that deal. Uh, and the other thing was whenever. It, I don't even know what the numbers were because the last album that I did have on Spotify after the stream and I'm like when do these payouts and they got to reach a certain thing like a certain threshold sometimes nah man I'd rather be in control of my own thing and that's the way it's going to go moving forward uh, and I will have the free mixtapes at some point before the albums but I ain't streaming another album I don't care if it get, you know continues to grow bigger bigger or whatever I'm in the sweet spot I'm happy with where I'm at right now and so that's what it's going to be uh, okay, I think that's all I've got for today. Uh, next time you see me, I may have gotten to third base. That's no bra, full honk. I'll see you next week.